Hi friends, um, I'm going to briefly show you guys how to create a calendar that you can share with as many people as you want to share it with. It could be for family, business, whatever. So I am already in my calendar and I'm going to go, I'll move this, I'm going to go down to the left side, I'm going to go down. To other, it's going to say other calendars. There's a plus sign, so just click on that plus sign. Click on create new calendar, and then you can just write in new calendar, name it whatever it could be um, the business name that you are just starting a business, and um, so you just put that in. Click on create calendar, and wait a minute. So now this just showed up. I just created this new calendar, new calendar. <laughs> so I'm going to click on new calendar. So after you click on that, that just sh it just shows up on the left. Or you, if, if it's delaying, just click refresh right here. Because sometimes it'll just be delaying for a while. But um, it should show up on the left there. So click new, new calendar. Um, you can share with specific people or groups, um, and there's just all sorts of things you can do. You can export the calendar. Um, you can get the shareable link. So if I click on this, I can copy the link and share it with people. Um, I can learn more about sharing the calendar. I can add people in groups. This is how we did it. We added um, when we made our business and we wanted to have several people looking at the same calendar because that can help everybody stay on the same page in a business is to have everybody having with the same calendar. So just add people in groups and it should go right to their email and they can accept the calendar from there and be able to see it. Um, Okay, so there's that. Very, really pretty simple. Um, um, I didn't explain, so sharing the link is really simple. You click copy link and then you can just open up a um, message or an email and literally just paste your link in there and it'll share a link. That's, it's very simple, just copy paste. So, um, to delete this calendar, so let's say you made a mistake, you can just delete it. See the X, just click the X, remove calendar. Okay. Um, what can be difficult with sharing calendars or having separate calendars, um, is that you'll you'll think you're putting something on the business calendar and you'll accidentally be in your own calendar vice versa so the most important thing to realize if you're trying to put something on the calendar that you want to be on the shared calendar you have to make sure that you're in your business or vice versa so where are you and make sure look at the email you're in and if you're all of your if, if all of your calendars are very similar you may want to make sure you have different pictures so that you're really clear on what calendar you're using um also be confusing if you have if you want to be a hundred percent sure that what you're putting on your calendar is visible to everyone on your team on the left here, take off all the other things and you'll be left with what that shared calendar has. Okay, so the shared calendar, you'll know, you'll know what you're putting on that by, by taking off everything else. Okay, so 
Because sometimes you could be thinking that something's shared because you have all these tabs open. 